In the past, I've had clients who ask for the raw footage after a shoot, and you know for a fact that they don't have access to uh, Final Cut or Premiere, and you've shot everything in log, so you want to conform the footage into Rec. 709 space, so they're not looking at a footage like this. So there is a way to batch process a whole bunch of footages into Rec. 709 without having to import it into Premiere first using Media Encoder. Here's how it's done. The first one is just me driving down Sunset Boulevard. As you can see, it's shot in Canon Lock 3 BT 2020. As you can see here, it's shot in 4K BT 2020. And then the second one is another driving footage. Uh, this time it's Rodeo Drive. It's also shot in C-Log 3, 4K, BT2020. So let me close these. So when you're in Media Encoder, you want to click Create Encoding Preset. And you want to name the preset first. For me, it's going to be C-Log 3 to Rec 709. And under Format, I'm going to go to QuickTime. Then I'm going to go to ProRes 422. You can do ProRes 422 LT or HQ, depending on which file size you want. But just know that HQ is the best quality, 422 is the medium, LT is slightly worse. Um, and then I'm going to go to Lumetri Look LUT. Check that. And under here, I'm going to select. This part is a little buggy. Um, when you go select, it doesn't let you select. So you're going to go to SL Big HDR, just pick one of these, and then go, go up to select. OK, now I'm going to look for my LUT. In this case, I placed it on my desktop just for the tutorial. 3D LUT. 33 grid, full to full. I am going to look for the LUT that I need, which is uh, BT 2020 Canalog 3 to BT 709. I'm going to check that. And then I'm going to go to video, make sure everything's matched source. Um, for some reason, if you want to give your client a lower resolution copy, if you shot in 4K and you want to give them a 1080p, you can change it here. But for, for this one, I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to check maximum depth, maximum quality, and then check OK. And now we are going to go to ingest preset. Create ingest preset. And I'm going to name this um, log to 709 ingest and then I'm going to transcode files to destination I'm going to select the destination as my hard drive or you could just browse wherever you want to go I'm gonna just go to the root level of my hard drive and then I'm going to QuickTime and it'll automatically select the preset that you just created before, which is this one, it'll match over here. So you click uh, OK here. And now you're going to bring the footages that you want to convert to 709 into the queue window. By default, it'll show you the, um, the, the file, the codec that your camera shot in. And from here, you want to bring the ingest setting into your clip. You can actually have multiple clips selected. If you have like 10 of them, just bring this to one of them. It'll apply to all of them. And now when you click play, it'll start exporting. So I'm just going to give it a moment. Okay, so it's done exporting. Let me just show you a quick before and after. So this is before. 
and this is after the LUT was applied. Okay, that's it for me today. I'll see you in the next video.